hey guys welcome back to my channel and if you are new welcome my name is martha so yeah today i decided to do this video for you guys 2019 i need to do a video for y'all i want to do more video for y'all this year like i need to stop slacking stop being lazy and just do some videos because i really do enjoy doing them here's this look that i just came up with um i really don't have nothing else to say just to get rid of me i was just talking to y'all throughout this whole video um and i just came up with this look and yeah so don't forget to like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video hey guys so let's go ahead and get started got my marshmallow fireside candle burning which has been like my favorite this season got my brushes set out makeup don't really know what look i'm going for just going for whatever comes to mind so yeah so we're going to start off with the brows and i'm going to be using a pencil i need to get them done so they're a little rough right now i just like y'all i decided to do a video because i've really been wanting to do a get ready with me but i'm not gonna say i didn't have the time i guess i was just being lazy and i was like okay i really have to do one before i go back to school which i'll start school next week so i was like i really need to do one before i start school so to do like the front of my brows this is the l'oreal brow stylist pencil definer whatever in the shade burnt net with so now i'm going with this nick nick and nix uh, full coverage concealer in the shade light which i always use this to carve my brows last time i tried to look for this i didn't find it so i don't know if they still have it but this is like it lasts me forever then i go in with this mac 212 i believe yeah 212 brush to clean them up they look a little too bold but I'm gonna clean them up and see how they look I feel like you have you have to carve your brows like if you don't carve your brows I feel like I don't even know I feel like it's just such a big difference like I feel like look at that so I uh, really do want to like do more videos for you guys this year because I know I slack at that but I really don't know what to do like you guys should just leave down some requests because I really don't know what to do going with this elf flawless concealer brush from elf I said that right and I'm just gonna blend out the concealer and I did to clean up the brows. So I feel like they look so much different now. It's so weird, like, not having music playing. But since I'm talking to a video, I ain't trying to get talk copyrighted. So it's okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and prime my lids. My lids. This is the like, Mac um, Soft Ochre Paint Pot in the shade soft oak duh but yeah this is the longwear paint pot this is the only primer i've used like when i started doing makeup i did use the urban decay primer but i wasn't like crazy over it i like this one because it cancels out any like veins or any kind of discoloration you have on your eyelids so this is really helpful i really do like this this is a wet n wild i don't know it's just a wet n wild flat brush i haven't done an intense I look in a very long time. I honestly don't do my makeup like that, and if I do, it's basic. I shed literally like two colors on the lid, and like yeah. So, I'm going to be setting my eyelids with a cream shade. I'm just gonna get it from this Huda Beauty palette. This is the Mob Obsessions, and I'm just gonna be using this shade right here okay so like i said i don't really know what color look i'm going for it i do want to use my nude new new nude palette by huda beauty she came out with this like maybe two months ago um i got this at imats i went to imats in november in atlanta so if you guys haven't gone i definitely recommend going it's such a great experience i love the vibes the atmosphere like i just loved going um and also a lot of products were very discounted like this palette um retails for i want to say like 65 dollars 
and I got it for I don't know if it was 30 or 40 but it was in between the 30 40 dollar range and I wasn't gonna get it but when I saw like I put it on my Christmas list and I wasn't gonna get it but when I saw that it was that cheap and I mean, it was real I know it is because I bought it from the name the Namie's booth at IMATS and I know Namie sells like all kinds of like other brands like Dose of Colors, Huda Beauty, they had all kinds of different brands there so like I knew it wasn't fake and I could just tell it wasn't fake so yeah it was a really good price for this palette and it had just came out too so I was like I'm just gonna go ahead and get this. Right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going in with the Huda Beauty palette. Can you guys like see it? I don't know. The ring light kind of flushes the colors out. But I'm going in with this palette and I'm probably going to be using the secret shade first which is right here it's kind of like a rosy mauvey color like really pretty color and I'm just gonna be packing this on my outer V all over something that I have been okay there's like a little concealer shade right here and I don't like it because there is a little bit of like kickback from the shadow and it goes into that concealer shade and I guess that concealer shade is for like the glitters in here but whatever anyways um I have been like packing on eyeshadow which I feel like a lot of people are doing now is you pack on the eyeshadow and then you later on go in, and go in and blend it and I feel like a lot of people have been doing that so I have been doing that and I really do like it I feel like it does make a difference so this one I'm just going to put in my outer V packing it on my outer V and then just slowly bringing it into my crease and don't wonder don't worry if it looks like unblended because we're gonna go back in to blend it oh this is a morphe 433 brush which is like one of my favorite brushes ever if you don't have this brush you really should get it because it's so good to pack on outer those outer v colors and stuff like i'm doing right now you should get it <clears throat> and it's like not even expensive now i'm gonna be going in with just a regular blending brush this is the morphe 5411 brush not five and first i'm just going to be going in and blending those harsh lines out be going in back in with the 441 brush and i'm going to be taking probably tease which is right here it's like a purpley color it's a really pretty color This is kickback, but then again, I'm like, I don't really care for kickback though. This is like why I do my eyeshadow before I do my face because I have time for this eyeshadow to be messing up my foundation. I'm going with a like transition shade, and I'm probably going in with tickle, which is like a really soft pink color. And yeah, we're definitely going for pinks here, but I'm definitely going to add some more darker colors. Probably going in with Love Bite, which is this purple color here. I do like this color, it's really pretty. So, I'm probably going with this, and then I'm going to be packing this on. So, this is what we got going on right now. I'm not done. I'm going to go with a darker color. Oh, actually, I'm going to go with the same color, Love Bite, but I'm going to take it more into my crease because we are going to cut the crease. I'm gonna pack it with the blending brush and I feel like it looks a mess right now but we're gonna fix this off. I'm going in with tickle which I use in the transition and just blend this out. The Dose of Colors palette and I'm probably gonna go in with this brown shade right here which is in the shade Chains I believe. Yeah so I'm gonna go in with a little bit of that one. And pack it on the outside. Okay, I'm not crazy for that color. But I'm gonna put it on this lid so it won't look different. I'm gonna go in with a darker. Oh, 
burgundy shade and this is the one in the hoodie booty palette and I'm probably gonna go in with <clears throat> this shade right here which does have a color you guys should let me know if any other videos you guys would like to see like do y'all want to see a everyday makeup look like I don't know what do y'all want to see okay I think I'm about to cut the crease I'm gonna be going in with this a Smashbox Studio Fix concealer in the shade light medium. Don't you know how you're looking for a brush, but like can't find it, but like you're sure it's there? This is the Morphe 592 brush, which is this tiny, tiny little brush like this. And this these two colors right here and mix them. Blending out those edges. Make sure you blend out those edges because you don't want like a line of concealer and then your shade. This color. Let's see. Going with my finger since I don't have a nail on this finger, but this is in the this is the color crave, which is this second shade right here. This is the Alamar cosmetics brush in the number I thought it had a number it doesn't but it's a flat brush I got it in boxy charm like if you layer this on too much it will definitely look like flaky and we don't want that so this is the Morphe 507 brush Alright guys, so I'm back. I kind of struggled putting them on. These are the Eiler Luxe Silk um, in the style Marquez, I say. And I'm just going to move on with the face. <clears throat> I still use my Smashbox Primer Water, always. But yeah, I'm just going to prim my face the right way. Okay. And then go with the Tatcha Primer. It did come with a, like, a little like special i don't know what you want to call it but i wish there was a place where i could just like pop it on in the back because it's just a struggle so i just go in with my nail you honestly don't even need this much i don't even need that much but now i'm going to be going in with this makeup revolution foundation this is the concealing define full coverage foundation i saw casey holmes talk about this by the way casey holmes is pregnant and her video was so freaking cute like I love her. She's one of my favorite YouTubers. But I saw Casey Holmes talking about this and Juicy Jess, which is another one of my favorite YouTubers talking about this. So I decided to try it out. It is a like semi matte coverage. So it is a little bit matte. So since it's like the winter time, my skin has been extra dry. So I'm going to go in with this Hangover Primer. You don't need to use three different primers. I'm just extra. Oh, oh. Yeah. Now going in with this color. This is the shade f5 their shades are so crazy because well, the f6 shade is actually a lighter than this one you know like their shades are just weird but dofa applicator is that what they call it and so this is tart shape tape this is a shade shade light sand which i just use it for like that part because it's a little too yellowy and then like a light neutral this is light neutral and this one fits me matches me good but it's a little too dark like i still want the bright i don't know whatever so anyways yeah i do want to try a new concealer because i feel like this is all i use in now all the other concealers that I use um like that's not as good as the Tarte shape tape and oh this is another thing I did want to talk to you guys about okay so I recently have been gaining a lot of I'm not gonna say a lot of subscri subscribers but I have been gaining a lot of subscribers and I do want to do a giveaway for you guys that's something I do do want to do for you guys is a giveaway 
but I just don't know for instance like at what at what count like at first I did say 200 but I'm like I need to give it time because I'm kind of like halfway there so I was like I need to have more time so I was thinking 300 I don't know should I do 300 400 or 500 um I will say the max is gonna be 500 like just know that I do plan on doing a giveaway so like share this video tell your mama your daddy your brother your sister your grandma your grandma your boyfriend whatever I said grandma twice whatever tell them to share this so that I can reach a certain amount I don't know how many yet but just know that just keep sharing it and then I'll figure out like where I decide to okay then another thing is I still don't really know how to go about choosing the person like I know there's like stuff you can do it online and I kind of came up with the rules already I'm not gonna tell you guys yet but yeah I know there's like things you could do like a random picker random perk a random person pick but I can't do like the whole putting in the name maybe I can depends on the rules like the rules I did have planned I will uh, involves me knowing that you're entering the, the giveaway Do you have any suggestions like where I could start like like where I could actually do the giveaway like what am I trying to say what the heck any suggestions on like um picking the giveaway winner how to go about that anyways whatever just going on with my La Mercier powder but yeah that is something I do have in mind of doing soon um I do know some people have asked me but yeah anyways this is the morphe 554 setting brush and now to set all over my face i've been liking to use the hourglass bell translucent setting powder now this definitely has like i don't want to say glitter because that sounds very not good but it has like a sheen to it so if you have dry skin this is good i don't have dry skin i don't have oily i have the like combo skin but this is a really good powder i got this at i mats for like $30 I remember $33 and this powder is $50 $60 around there so it's another good dip. I go on the sponge and I just set my entire face now I don't like using this powder to set my under eye and I go a little bit right here because it does kind of smooth out your skin but I don't like using this powder to set my under eye I don't know it's not my favorite I guess because it has that sheen to it which is why I don't really like it to set my under eye going on with this powder brush from wet and wild and I got this two years ago somebody hooked me up with a good bronzer this is the hula bronzer and I feel like I use it actually no I don't feel like I use it I do use it all the time tried so many but this is just one of my favorites i like the physician's formula one but it's not as dark i feel like it's not as dark as the benefit going with a little bit of this becca bronzer this is in the shade capri coast and i like this bronzer it's a really pretty bronzer but it does have a sheen to it so i don't like to use this by itself that's why i do like going in with the hula bronzer at first with this little travel size this is nars blush in the shade orgasm and going in with this morphe 530 brush this Kat Von D shade light palette to contour with and first I'm just going to be going out with this Morphe 523 brush and going with these two shades right here. White and wild brush right here which looks like this and I'm going with this dark shade right here and this just going in right here like at the very end 
This powder, this I just put it in this um Laura Mercier powder, but it's actually which is the Mega Revolution Luxury Baking Powder in the shade of lace, which looks like this. I'm going to make this um, powder for cleaning out my contour because the Laura Mercier is not as, I think it's like thick as this one, so the Laura Mercier isn't good for cleaning out that much. And yeah, this is a little bit thicker, it also has a, like, a slight of a yellowy, peachy tint. So. Go in with my lower lash line, go back in with the Huda Beauty palette, and basically just using the same colors I used for the top. So this is Urban Decay Slider Glide On in Vice. Um, I really like Urban Decay's eyes. They got this powder, they got this blush. Right, highlighter of the year is the Anastasia. By Anne Rimsey Highlight, which has been literally my favorite this whole entire year since she came out with it. I'm gonna highlight my brow with this same highlighter. Tiny Morphe brush, Morphe E36 for the inner corner. I'm going in with my Anastasia Clear Brow Gel because the brows are looking a little crusty. For lips, I really have been loving. If you guys follow, I'll pick it up in a minute. If you guys follow me on my makeup page, I'll put on there the, uh, the lip liner that I've been loving. And this is the Morphe Love Bite Lip Liner. I know more than $7. But yeah, I've really been loving this shade. I just do my whole lips with that. In the end, I've really been loving this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Cario. I oh, good, so, yeah, this is definitely what I've been loving. To use my favorite MAC Fix Plus, the Morphe Spring Setting Spray, I did talk about Laura Lash Mascara, this is the Benefit Bad Girl Bang Mascara. So that does complete this look. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and share because we'll be doing a giveaway soon. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!